Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I just got another message from one of my clients, and they just reached out to me, and they got an important question, and I wanted to answer that. They said, why do men ghost you? Now, for any of you ladies who don't know what ghosting is, ghosting is basically whenever a man is here one day, and then, you know, everything, everything is going good, and, you know, y'all hanging out, vibing and stuff, and then he disappeared for three days. And then you like, where the fuck you been? You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, the next day, he, you know, I'm busy, I'm busy. And then he here one day, and then you talking to you consistently. And then all of a sudden, you don't hear from him for a few days. And you like, okay, there's a, you know, a, a mixed signal pattern going on here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you over here like, oh, I'm kind of confused. Like, what's going on? Okay. So, to give you ladies some clarity of what's going on. Uh, inside of a man's head or inside of a man's life whenever he's ghosting you is Okay, so I'm breaking down in a few reasons. Okay reason number one and I have them all written down my notes Reason number one he has other women that has his attention So which means yeah, he probably you know You may you he may think you cool and he may like kicking it with you But guess what he got other prospects that's in line that probably has his attention maybe more than you or, you know, kind of somewhat equally. He kind of like, you know, trying to see like what, who he likes more or what woman stands out the most before he just makes a decision. You know what I'm saying? So you so sometimes when a man goes to you, you know, it's because he has other women on the side. He's talking to other women. He's going on dates with other women. He's seen other women. He's laid up with another woman, you know. You know, and I mean, if y'all just and if y'all just starting off talking, then I mean, you can't be mad at that, you know, too much. Because I mean, you know, y'all just start talking, so you know, he not your man, so you know what I'm saying. But if it's different when you know, y'all actually have like a connection, and y'all actually have like, and he's sending, and he's really, really, really sending mixed signals because he tells you like, oh, I really care about you, and you know, getting your feelings involved, and then. He disappear for three days, and then he come back. Now, that is a whole different story. That's totally manipulation. You know what I'm saying? That's just manipulation. But, you know, when it's the beginning stages, then, you know, it, it's kind of it's kind of iffy because, you know, he, it's not really your man. So, him, so, you know, you can't really base that on, you know what I'm saying, him ghosting you because he could genuinely be busy or, you know, whatever. So, you know, you don't really know. So, anyways, number two. So, he has a girlfriend or a wife. So, you know, some of these dudes, you know, they may, you may think like, oh, you know, uh, he seemed like he just so cool and, you know, whoop de whoop and, uh, for a while and then a few days go by and you don't hear from him and you wondering, damn, what, 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 what's going on? Why I don't hear from you for a few days or why, or another, another thing, another little secret I'll give you ladies. If you can't see that man at night, like past nine o'clock or something, if you can't go to that man's house at night and he stay alone or he got his own place and you can't go to his house at night, what that tell you? He got a girl over or he or if he or he fucking with somebody or he got a girlfriend or a wife or somebody close that he fucking with that he laid up with and you can't come over. You know what I'm saying? Like so that's one little secret that I'll tell you, that I'll tell you. But yeah, you know, some of these dudes, they hide the fact that they, you know, are in relationships or that they in marriages and, you know, they just want one thing from you. So, you know, they try to manipulate you and try to say like, oh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, messing with nobody. It's just me and you, whatever, whoop de whoop you know, and then they manipulate you like that. Then they ghost you and then, you know, whatever, whoop de whoop but behind closed doors he really got a whole girlfriend got a whole wife got a whole you know family and shit and that's why he's ghosting you that's why you're not hearing from him for two three days four days a week two weeks at a time because he got a whole fucking nother life he got a whole nother life outside of you you know what i'm saying so while you over here you know you like damn you know i don't hear from him whatever whatever whoop -de -whoop, he out living his life chilling with another girl somewhere taking care of her kids you know what i'm saying so that's number two. Number three, um, he isn't interested in you or he has very, very low interest in you. So, you know, it's, it's all, you know, niggas too. It's, it's us as men, you know what I'm saying? It's female, it's, it's women that we look at and we say, she ain't really my type. Just like women look at men and say, you're not really my type. So if he's ghosting you and 
you know, he, he's here one day, gone the next day. Sometimes that's an indicator that he don't like you. And he not feeling you. He has low interest in you. He not feeling you. And I can't be more real with you. He don't like you. He got very low interest in you. He may think you cool. He may, you know, be like, oh, what's up? You know, you, you all right. But nothing that you're doing is easily impressing him. So, you know, other shit got his attention. And, you know, you may, you may think like, you know, that's wrong or that's fucked up. But, you know, some man, he, he just not, don't like you. You know what I'm saying? So he's ghosting you and he just feel like he could just, you know, oh, I'll be back whenever. Because he don't like you. You know what I'm saying? So he not going to display his high interest in hitting you back, hitting you back and going back and forth with you and, you know, building a, a rapport with you. And he don't really like you in that way. He's not even about to lead you on in that way, you know? And in that, and if that's the case, then you should be happy that he's not leading you on to think, oh, you know, something and it's not. You know what I'm saying? He's letting you know straight up by ghosting you in the beginning, you know, who he really is. So if he's ghosting you in the beginning, sometimes, you know, then you already know, like, okay, this ain't the dude for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, he playing, he playing too many games. You know what I'm saying? So... What am I, number four? I'm on number four. Uh, number four, he's afraid of commitment and doesn't want to lead you on, like I said. So, afraid of commitment. So, you know, some of these dudes, you know, they may feel like, oh, damn, you know, I'm, I'm we getting a little too close. You know what I'm saying? Some of you ladies, y'all been in relationships with men, and have you ever heard men say like, oh, I just want my space? And you sitting there like, space? Nigga, what, what space you need, nigga? This ain't NASA, nigga. We don't need no space, nigga. We don't need no motherfucking astrology. This ain't no zodiac shit. We don't need no space, nigga. I'm all the space you need. I'm your whole world. What you mean? I'm the stars and the moon. I am the space. What you mean? We don't need no space. So when you say something like that, you know, when, when dudes say something like that, you like, what you mean? So when a dude says that he needs space from you, Basically, he feels like sometimes y'all getting too close. He feels like you you doing too much. You you pushing up on him too much, and he kind of backing off because he's like, I'm not really feeling it. You know, the girl. You know, maybe maybe it was a cool little balance. Like you know, he was hitting you up and you was hitting him up and whatever. But then it came to a certain point where you show too much high interest in him and he like hold on man this girl she she liked me a little bit too much like let me just like let me not hit her up so much so that this girl does not get attached to me and that's how a lot of dudes think they like i don't want this i don't want this girl to get attached to me because i'm not ready to commit to her and to give her all i want or maybe i don't even like her like that to even want to give her all all that i want or maybe i'm not in a place in my life where i want to even you know, get her feelings wrapped up or set her up. But whatever the case is, he doesn't want to commit to you. You know what I'm saying? So he'll keep his distance. He'll ghost you. You know what I'm saying? He he won't he won't text you all the fucking time, back to back to back to back. Every time you text him, he texts right back. Every time he hit him up, he gonna hit right back. You know, he might he might hit you back a few days, a few hours. You know, maybe maybe if he kind of you know like you a little bit, he might hit you up. You know, hours later or something, or you know maybe a day later, the next day or some shit. You know what I'm saying? But you know, if you know, if it go by like a few days go by, you know, you really know. You know, if a few days go by, you like, okay, a whole week go by and you ain't heard from this nigga, then you know something up. Why? You like, why don't he like cause I guarantee you, y'all women got niggas hitting you up every single day. As I'm speaking right now, half of y'all getting DMs right now by niggas. So niggas hitting you up and it be the same nigga. Hey, 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 what's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, hey, hey. The same fucking message. So you mean to tell me that if a dude that don't even know you can hit you up every single day when you don't respond, you mean to tell me that a dude that clearly sees sees your messages and sees that you're hitting him up, what does that tell you? He don't like you. Or he not all the way just into you like that. Or he got some other shit going on. Because a man that really likes you. You see how some of these niggas act. Some of these niggas that's, that's fucking...